this is my last introduction to our class and the last topic which I prepared for our seminar um, Liberal Catholicism uh, in the US. And the topic is um, Liberal Catholicism and Atheism. Uh, this uh, relationship between uh, the science and theology, relationship between uh, scientific inquiry and my uh, belief or myself versus my community are uh, a constant, uh, so to say, a topic of our course. Uh, so it is a kind of um, repetition, but I hope that uh, uh, in this case, repetitio is mater studiorum, means the, 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 for repeating, we are learning more we are entering deeper and deeper. So the purpose of this uh, 15 minutes of introduction is exactly to summarize what we already discussed in class, uh, what you read, uh, but uh, from different perspective, exactly from this uh, radical difference between uh, liberal Catholicism means theism, or religion, or religious uh, worldview, or believe uh, in transcendence, in God, or in some divine uh, being, on the one hand, and on the other hand, the radical atheism, the radical negation of God, or gods, or transcendence. Uh, on the platform, I put two uh, books, as usual, and I hope that you will be uh, interested in to, to read them. The first is the quite short uh, book, uh, which is a transcription of a conversation, of a discussion between four uh, new artists. Names of them already were mentioned. You even uh, have uh, on the platform the book of one of them, God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. But here you have a really a condensed, concise uh, positions of these four um, uh, thinkers. Um, and the title of the book, uh, published uh, 2019, is the recent book, by the way, for those of you who are interested in uh, Polish uh, translation, it is also available in Polish translation. And the title is The Four Horsemen, The Conversation That Sparked an Atheistic Revolution. Uh, Christopher Hitchens, uh, Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris, and Daniel Dennett. And I think it's worth it to enter in the conversation as the partner, to be the fifth uh, partner, or observer, or opponent, or follower, doesn't matter. It's important to read it actively, where you are in this conversation. Uh, all of, four of them are really uh, very committed to the worldview, and they try to popularized it, to, to, to write, to they are present in public debate till now. The one, uh, Christopher um, Hitchens, died a few years ago, but three are still uh, very active in the United States. So I think to, to read it is a very nice um, introduction to what is going on, and perhaps it is also a kind of explanation why um, uh, Atheism uh, in the United States is the fastest growing group um, of, hard to say, <laughs> religious group, the atheists, those who are uh, keeping or taking distance to, to faith, to religion as such. Uh, the second book is completely different. And this is uh, why I think it's worth it to read uh, different perspectives. Uh, namely, um, the authors are two Catholic priests, one American and one Polish. Uh, one is well-known 
was well known because he passed away a few years ago, George Coyne, uh, director of a very prestigious institution in the Vatican, uh, Specola Vaticana, or the Vatican Observatory, Astronomical Observatory, which has also sister institution in the um, US. And uh, George Coyne was a very well-known representative of uh, Catholic uh, theologian and scientist who made a lot to reconcile religion and uh, faith. And it is uh, even more reason to, to read him or to be uh, aware of his existence, which I will tell you in a few minutes uh, later why he is so important. Uh, I have also in front of me um, three other uh, thick volumes, which I will present briefly to you, or to those of you who would like to to read them, perhaps uh, they are available in, in my uh, home library and I can borrow to or make a copy for those who will be interested in. But this book, which uh, you will find on the platform, uh, was written and published um, uh, 10 years ago or so in 2008. Uh, and the title is very, I think, uh, different from uh, conversation of four artists, namely a comprehensible universe, the interplay of science and theology. So uh, they are not confronting atheism as such, but they are simply demonstrating in this short book, which is available also in Polish, for those interested in reading in Polish, as um, to be a scientist, to be a reasonable or rational person uh, is not uh, in contradiction with, um, with uh, belief in, in God or even in Jesus Christ. So they are both Christians and they are both, uh, both uh, scientists, cosmologists or astronomers uh, or physics. Uh, they are very well known also as authority in, in science. But these three books which I mentioned and which are for those interested in how the church or the Catholic Church is dealing with, with science, with atheism, uh, just to have a look on the title and on the articles, physics, philosophy, and theology, a common quest for understanding. So you see, this is the theological perspective uh, that to be um, a scientist, a philosopher, uh, doesn't mean that you have to resign from your faith. Or similar, scientific perspective on divine action. Uh, you see this really big books. And uh, worth it to, to, to have a look if you are interested, of course. 20 years of challenge and progress. And the last, but not least, as a, as a uh, weight, but also as the content, quantum cosmology and uh, the laws of nature, scientific perspectives on divine action. So you see that you um, can spend uh, your entire life just uh, you know, being preoccupied with uh, the possibility to reconcile a religion with, uh, with um, uh, science, with reason, with uh, logic, etc., etc. So I think to, con to, 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 to confront uh, these two worldviews is uh, very um, fruitful from uh, scientific or from uh, educational point of view. Uh, many times uh, you and me, we express in class our personal views. And it's uh, wonderful that we feel free, that we can express our positions, that we can have good arguments and 
the last uh, week, uh, some of you express uh, skepticism as if it is at all possible to, to influence others, or it, if it uh, makes sense to enter in dialogue with those who have different opinions. I think this is uh, very important to, to struggle with these questions and also to, to learn through uh, our own life experience. Um, there's nothing wrong to change our worldviews, our positions, but it's good to have a good argument to change, not because of conformity to what the other are thinking or because of opportunity, opportunities. Uh, or, uh, you know, there are some uh, not uh, intellectual or scientific reasons that the people change their opinions. Here, I think, uh, in our class, we have this opportunity to see how exciting it is to enter in dialogue and to listen opinions of others. Uh, Michał Heller, uh, you may know, he is a recipient of a very prestigious international prize, Templeton Prize, which is like considered a theological uh, Nobel, and you get a lot of money, millions of dollars. And thanks to this money, he started a very successful uh, publishing house, a Copernicus Center. And uh, it's worth it to, to have a look on the page of this um, uh, publisher. They organize a lot of conferences, have courses available online. And uh, what is behind is exactly this conviction that is worth it to, in, to invest your, your intellectual uh, potential in search for intelligent faith. Uh, my second film will be not my film, but I uh, thought that it will be good for you to listen uh, a conversation between uh, George Coyne and Richard uh, Dawkins. Uh, so you will have um, and. They are available online, seven uh, short films, each uh, uh, 10 minutes. So I will send you a link to the first uh, and to um, the last part. And those of you who would like to, to see all of them, are of course, welcome. It's easy, available on YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, why I thought that this is uh, a good experiment? You have two completely different uh, uh, person, one who is committed as a Catholic priest, as a Jesuit and the scientist in um, reconciling uh, his uh, faith and the faith of his institution with um, the scientific universe. And on the other hand, you have someone who uh, being a scientist, um, Richard Dawkins, being a neo-Darwinist and being convinced that uh, uh, religion is the biggest obstacle in uh, flourishing of human uh, intellectual uh, abilities, uh, wanted to to listen from someone who uh, belonged to completely different uh, worldview, and this uh, friendly, full of mutual respect uh, debate is, I think, a model for all of us that we can learn from it. You are not avoiding differences. You are not escaping difficult questions, but you are also not uh, absolutizing your point of view and you are not judging the other person um, on the basis of uh, uh, his or her opinions. So I thought it will be a very nice conclusion of, uh, of our class. Um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I will write it uh, in the 
note which I write you weekly on uh, the presentations, uh, asking you to sign when you would like to have your presentation. So um, thank you for listening to this film. I invite you to, to watch also the conversation between uh, uh, Richard Dawkins on, and Coyne um, uh, and George Coyne. And uh, I hope that also in class we'll have a very vivid conversation.